Good morning, it's May 2nd, breakfast time. Back on trail, May 2nd, mile 427. Did about 20 and a half yesterday, and uh, looking at maybe 17 ish to uh, the KOA in Acton. So I'm gonna sip uh, water slowly so it'll last me the way and uh, should be good. Good to go. This is a good first mile climb. It's what it's like up here. Just climbing, descending, climbing again. Just did some uh, switchbacks. Hopefully it flattens out for a little bit. Climbing higher. Looks like I'm peaking this, this hill anyway. Snag hazard. Oh good. All right. Let's see what kind of snags we have up ahead. I'm more interested in the view. Oh, above the clouds again, I love it. The views and listening to the birds. Nice breeze. All right, it's 1 p.m. on the nose, and I just reached the North Fork Ranger Station. Um, miles, about 236.1, so I've hiked nine miles today. Uh, KOA in Acton, which is now, I think, called the LA RV Resort Place, is uh, about nine miles, or not nine, eight, maybe seven and a half, eight from here. There's camping here, but it's too early to camp. Problem is, if I continue on another eight miles, I'm gonna get there late. Be a nice time to get to the uh, KOA right now to hitch into town to resupply, because I need to resupply when I get to uh, Acton, to the KOA. So I gotta sit down. There's water here. Um, take a break and figure out what I'm gonna do. So just leaving the uh, North Fork Ranger Station back on trail. Plan is to get to Acton. It's 
So I got 8.2 miles to go to get to Acton. I already did about nine, so it'll be a little over a 17 mile day. I just want to try to get there enough time to get to a store to resupply so I can, uh, you know what, I'm probably gonna end up camping there. Didn't want to camp there, but why not? I think you just gotta pay a little bit. So I did take about an hour at the camp, um, maybe a little more. I think it's about uh, going on three o'clock now, so yeah. At least an hour and a half. Had lunch, rested in the shade, met some of the uh, hikers that were coming in from the bubble behind me. Um, and uh, some of them jumped back on a couple ahead and some were still uh, resting and going to be doing the same thing, but it seems like uh, the majority of the people there are going to be going on to Acton. So no, it won't be a steady decline. It's going to be a steady incline. Trails up there. Gonna be going up those ridges. Slow incline. Uh, maybe the second half of the uh, 8.2 miles will be a decline. But it is what it is. I don't mind either one. As long as it's not straight up, not now. <laughs> it's been a long day. Hiked along that ridge, climbed up on that side. Coming down, coming around, it's like a roller coaster. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, this video is not even going to do it justice. Oh my gosh. Looks so pretty. It looks like a painting. Wow. I will not be going into KOA. I'm going to camp about four miles short of KOA. Feeling a lot of tenderness and uh, tightness, pain in lower uh, calf areas. So, you know what they say, listen to your body. Um, this way I can get into uh, KOA early and uh, get a hitch into town resupply and take the day to take care of all that, at least the first part of the day. So that's the plan. I'm staying here. Decent camp spot. Some other campers around. That's it, I'm gonna set up. All right, I'm at uh, mile 440.2. It's uh, probably Monday, Tuesday? Tuesday, Tuesday May 3rd. 9.20 a.m. 9.20 a.m. And I camped here last night because uh, my body was falling apart. Uh, and I ran into these two characters. I'll, I can call them characters because uh, <laughs> they're characters. <laughs> I, got, I got Tony and Hi, Drew uh, over here. And uh, looks like it took them as long as it took me to get ready, so uh, we should be hiking at the same speed. How you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. I feel um, um, great, actually. Moving pretty good, pretty pretty slow, because uh, uh, Tony, uh, he, he sets a pretty 
pretty mean pace, but I'm, I'm managing to keep up with him. So, uh, so he's keeping me in check, keeping me where I'm not falling apart, you know. Right. Heat exhaustion or whatever. You gotta watch the knees, you gotta watch the ankles, you know, don't rush. All right. At my age. We're both salty guys, so. Yes. Good advice coming from the Geritol group. You back there? Yeah, Tony's way back there. He's not gonna touch it. All right. Getting hot out here. supply place to me. Wow. Oh man, decisions, decisions. Hey guys, so I'm here in, uh, uh, just got to the Palmdale area from Acton. Um, Jim who uh, works over at the uh, LA RV Resort, used to be the KOA in Acton, um, Trail Angel, and gave me a lift over here. So uh, just want to introduce Jim, say hi Jim. Hello, how you doing? <laughs> anyway, I'm um, gonna spend the night in a hotel because there's no Wi-Fi at the, uh, the LA RV Resort, um, and I need the Wi-Fi to upload videos and edit and stuff for you guys. So I'm gonna take time, rest uh, some tendonitis and uh, ice it and stuff like that here in Palmdale, which is pretty close to Acton, maybe 16 miles away. And then I'll catch up with you later. I'll be hiking uh, eventually to uh, the next town, I'll go do say, uh, but I have to resupply here. All right, talk to you later. So there's some motels that uh, I would choose to stay in and, and some that I would not, especially in Palmdale. Um, so sometimes it's worth paying just a little bit extra so nobody's knocking on your door trying to sell you anything that you don't want to buy. Look at that. Every once in a while, it's not a bad thing. I do love the dirt. I do love my tent. I love the trail. But tonight, it's this. Yeah, I think I mentioned something in my first video about this white shirt. 
Uh, I'd say it's a little dirty. Hey, it's Thursday, May 5th, and I'm back at the, uh, the KOA. I keep saying KOA, but it's no longer the KOA. The uh, LA Resort, RV Resort. Anyway, I'm here trying to uh, finish up as much food as I can that I bought. Never go to the store hungry. Um, so I can get on the trail. It's probably about 2.30 right now, and I need to get on the trail and do uh, 10 miles. I think it's around 10 miles into Agua Dulce from Acton. So I'm trying to eat all this food. Uh, nobody even wants to take it because there's food here. Um, so I'll leave some stuff in the hiker box. Would love to just squash all that bread and stick it in my pack, but my pack's full. And this uh, wild blueberries. Oh, man, I hate to throw that away. So I'm going to leave it in the hiker box. Hopefully somebody eats it. Anyway, that's it. I'll be back on the trail a little bit. All right, headed out. It's about, uh, gosh, almost 3 p.m. And uh, I don't know. I'm just going to hike. Maybe I'll camp before Agua Dulce. Um, check the camp spots out. Maybe I'll, uh, I'm just thinking if I go into Agua Dulce town, I'm going to do some road walking. So maybe camp before that and then hit breakfast there. Um, I don't want to be tempted into getting another hotel room, but then I can edit and upload more videos. I'm still backlogged. We'll see. Um, shoot, I'm going to take the ramp. <laughs> because I feel like, uh, I just need to. <laughs> All right. I'll uh, be back when I start the trail. All right. Almost at the trailhead here. Coming out of the uh, RV resort. That's the Soledad Canyon Road where I came down. And uh, it's a trail this way. All right. Northbound from Acton. Next stop, Agua Dulce. Oh wow, look at this. Haven't even left yet and there's a water source. I'm fully loaded. Got four liters and then my 750 mil up front. Worst thing I can do right now is get my feet wet.
I gotta tell you, these first uh, five miles, it's just a lot of climbing up and down and in and out through canyons. I mean, the first couple miles were, were a climb. Um, but this is all canyon. Canyon hiking kind of looks like back home. <laughs> so not much to this scenery here. Um, but it's supposed to be coming up on a couple miles. I think on Vasquez Rocks, which is supposed to be real pretty. So that'll be the next thing you see, I'm sure. Unless I see a snake or something interesting. Whew. Man, what a workout. What a workout in the heat. Feels good though. Like I said, it's uh, a tunnel underneath that 14. Should be coming up to it about a tenth of a mile. Since I've descended down, and once I go underneath it, there's gonna be another climb before uh, Agua Dulce. the rocking world go round all right that's all I got okay Vasquez rocks one mile so maybe I will see some rocks Still on the PCT, still part of the PCT. There's a lot of California sagebrush and scrub oak and California juniper here. You know how I know that? Because there are signs. Otherwise I probably wouldn't know what it is. And there's wild rose too. See? Ooh, and running water, the good flow. Look at that. Yucca. Yucca. A royal willow. Fremont cottonwood. Giant rye grass.
Hey guys, so I uh, made it to Agua Dulce, did some road walking to Maria Bonita. It's uh, closing down now and uh, everybody, a lot of hikers left. Some of them went over to the field um, to camp, which is just outside the parking lot. And uh, um, I'm here with Brian from Denmark and there's Junior, our waiter. What's Say up? hi to YouTube. You too. All right. <laughs> So we're going to cowboy camp here. Um, Brian did 34 miles today. The guy is a savage. They call him furious. And uh, there's no way I'm going to do that. I mean, we, we just met on the trail today. And it's nice to meet him. But I, I'm not keeping up with this guy. He's, he's insane. He's going to do 35 tomorrow and then like 33 the day after that to get to Hiker Town by Saturday. Um, so... Yeah, four margaritas later, happy Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> We're not going anywhere. We're going to camp here because Junior said it's okay. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> so, uh, Agua Dulce is a small town, but uh, seems like a really nice town um, until Junior moved here. But, no. It, <laughs> um, so, anyway, tomorrow is going to be a long water carry. Very long water carry. Um, so... There's a spigot right here we can fill up. Um, yeah, just uh, living the dream. Anyway, again, happy Cinco de Mayo. I had asked the waiter what Cinco de Mayo was. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to use any of this footage here. So. I am now truly official hiking trash. This is where I'm sleeping. <laughs>